Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the DYS XS 30 amp ESE. Uh, this is on the low end of ESEs in price point, not in quality. I don't know yet. We're going to have to check it out on the testing right now. So what I'm going to do is actually we're going to be measuring noise, voltage drops and voltage spikes on this guy with no capacitors, just raw input just to get an idea of how good this one is. And we're going to be comparing it to the Racer Star 35 amp Racer Star ESC uh, just because it's in the same price point and they're pretty close. I believe in, in quality wise or just in, in what you're paying for uh, just it's going to be on the same level for us to actually test and kind of compare and get an idea of how good this one is is really cheap ESCs can they really be that good so soon we'll be comparing these to higher end ESCs once they arrive but as of right now we're just going to test for noise and see the voltage spikes and voltage drops so let's get started. Alright guys, so as you saw it, it was a huge difference and this ESC is actually pretty spectacular for the price point. Uh, this one is $11, I think, yeah, it's, it's $11, yeah, it's $11. And the Racer Star 35 amp ESC is, I think, a dollar cheaper, yeah, $10. So you got $10 and $11. And with the $11, you get two clear heat shrinks and you get a uh, ESC protector case cover thing that comes with it. So this is just absolutely unbelievable The the, the amount of noise it reduced the, the voltage spikes are not even that high compared to the ESC the 35 amp rate star ESC And you have the Emax bullet. So this automatically kicks both of these ass really just 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 annihilates them and uh, This one is actually I think is more expensive than the DYS the Emax bullet is how much is it? It's $13 so we have 13 and 11 and 10 so 10 11 13 and um yeah this guy i would not go with at all the, you know the dys just absolutely annihilated these guys like like just unbelievable so i'm very excited for this i'm very surprised and i cannot wait to stick this on my new build so this is going to be coming up on my new build now and uh, this might be the best budget ESC you could possibly buy as of right now um, I've still ordered more cheaper ESCs and we're going to be testing them and comparing them and we're going to use the Racer Star 35 amp as a benchmark for cheap ESCs and this will be the top of the line so far until we get some other ones in but so far if you're thinking of getting these get them why not they seem good they, they look like they're holding up uh, the motor even sounded pretty smooth compared to the, these guys and by the way motors do sound differently with capacitors and without capacitors uh, since it's right next to my ear and I've been running it all day so I do notice the difference and it sounded a lot smoother with these so yeah that that is something to note and that is something to uh yeah that, that is true actually that motors do sound differently with the capacitors and and different ESCs so they sounded like they were running pretty smooth on this and which is very good I'm, I'm very impressed and um and yeah so these ESCs seem pretty good so far uh that's all I can really say right now until we actually put on a build and go for a flight. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you liked the review, and I really hope it helps someone out there. And that's it. So please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.